first half to the second half of last week? Uh, execution, I think, is the biggest thing. Um, you know, guys made plays in the second half, our third down conversion. Um, our efficiency continued. We ran the ball well, you know, in the second half. We ran it well in the first half, too. We just have a lot of cracks at it. Um, but that was the biggest thing. You know, we went in the locker room. It was kind of a strange locker room. It was very quiet, which was different, you know. But uh, challenged the guys to come out and play their best football in the second half, and they did really uh, did everything we wanted to do in that second half until we put on the brakes. Factors, you know, with Deshaun coming back and everything. Um, but just, I guess, does it at least give you a good feeling that you got a taste of what he is going to be able to bring to this offense when you, you know, big picture wise, when, when you look at that? Yeah, no, absolutely. He's a dynamic, explosive player. I can make plays with his legs and his arm. Um, and he showed that, you know, in the second half. So that's, a, that's what we were expecting. Yeah, moving forward, we saw glimpses of, glimpses of it throughout the course of his time back, but now we got a whole half of it from playing at a high level. What's the best throw Deshaun has made? To date, in that game, I would go back to the game that the second and long he threw to David Njoku on, our, uh, you know, on the left side of the offensive formation. It was a, a play that we run a lot of. Um, this is one of the looks that we get that's very rare where the ball went. Um, he saw it extremely well. Um, and put it exactly where it had to be. It was a defense that's uh, not rare, but unique, I would say. Um, and that coverage dictated that ball to go there. He saw it right away and, and, and dotted him. So that was probably the most impressive, other than the ones he made yesterday in practice. But that's different. Uh, does he throw the ball harder th than uh, Jacoby? Because it seems like uh, Deshaun's had some drops that might not have been dropped before. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably a little more velocity on it, um, but no excuses. We've got to catch the football. One of those drops was Donovan, and then Deshaun went right back to him, and he scored the touchdown. But what does it say that Deshaun is so willing to just kind of keep going back at guys and, and trust guys even after they make him? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I think he obviously trusts the players. I think he trusts the system. Um, he trusts his read in that play where he threw it back to Donovan. Um, that's where the defense dictated he go with that ball, and he found him. Um, I've never seen him shy away from going back to somebody after a drop, that's part of the game. Um, you know, I don't see receivers stop running routes because he missed a throw. So, you know, we trust each other. Everybody's going to make plays. We're going to have times when we don't make those plays. We just got to fight through and, and uh, you know, expect to execute in those situations. TJ Watt, since he's been back, and uh, do you think that you might have James Hudson going this week? Yeah, we'll see how that goes down the stretch here. Um, you know, Jack's health, we'll see. Um, whoever's in there, regardless, uh, he's a guy that you have to obviously be aware of um, and spend extra attention and extra time with and help in protection. Um, we, we understand that. Um, there are plays where we're not going to be able to do that based on situation where we just got to got to stand up and block him. But obviously, a, you know, a, a extremely talented player in both phases of the of defense running pass. Um, really good defensive front. You know, you go on to, to Cam's playing at a high level like he always does, and High Smith on the other edge gives us a challenge on both edges in pass protection and run game. Obviously, James had some struggles at the end of last year facing TJ. Um, what do you think he could gain from just having that experience? Uh, that that alone, just the experience of going against him, studying the, how he, um, you know, what his plan was against James, how he can counter that. Um, we got to help him at the same time. Um, you know, we were deep in the pocket last year at times, and it made it tougher for James. Um, so being where we're supposed to be, um, you know, things like that. But James is a year older. He's been through uh, the training of, uh, you know, Bill and Scott for another year, and we expect James to play better than he played last year if he does play. What has Kellen Mond shown you over the last three or four months? I'm sorry? What has Kellen Mond shown you over the last three or four months? Uh, improvement, you know, it really has came in uh, late in the, in the program there trying to learn it and catch up. Very smart guy. Uh, attention to details is great. Um, speaks up in the room and asks good questions. Um, you know, we do have these opportunity periods at the end of practice for the younger players to go out and compete. And he's gotten better uh, through the course of the season in those periods. So excited to work with him in the future. Ask you about Ethan, obviously, but just having him back, how much of a difference he's made, and I know his future is like uncertain here. But would it mean a lot to be able to get him back another year? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just, I know that I'm proud of the player, uh, the person. You know, he's a guy that stepped in, takes pride in his work. Um, you see it in walkthroughs. Everything he does is with detail. Um, you know, he's a really solid, solid player for us. Does a great job of uh, running the the calls up front, and his play has been has been very good. 
Uh, like I said last week, I would be very happy to have him back. Um, um, but man, just what a great job he's done coming in, stepping in from day one, and, and really not missing a beat. What kind of season has Jed McWills had? Jed's gotten better. He's definitely gotten better. Um, you know, fundamentally, I think his pass protection's gotten better. His, his, his run game, he's improved. Um, yeah, there's a guy that just has continued to you know to do good work each year, um, and has gotten better since he's gotten here. Has he had any, any issues this year at all? Because it's, sometimes it looks like um, he's not playing as well as maybe expected. Um, you know, there's 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 glimpses of ups and downs. I think the biggest uh, thing for for Jed is just consistency, playing at the same level. Um, and finishing every play to, to the end of the whistle. I think it was just the two areas, but a uh, very talented guy that's, that, that does good things for us. Nick Chubb is averaging seven yards a carry. How does that help you guys open up the offense for Deshaun Watson, and how can he build on that elsewhere? Yeah, well, obviously, it would start with the run action, play actions off of those runs that are generating the production. Um, we started there, uh, hit a couple of those. Um, didn't have the down the field throws off the play action last week, but did a great job at the quarterback position of taking what was there. We dropped a couple short to Harrison in the flats on those run action type of plays, but uh, gives you that, gives you the keeper game as well off of the runs. Um, you know, I thought that we ran the ball extremely well. Um, Nick's ability to break tackles and carry defenders for extra yards is impressive. Um, you know, he's, I know he's on the close of having one of his best years as a runner and really um, you ask Nick to do something and it gets done. That's the, that's the thing about Nick you love. You make a correction in a meeting, it shows up immediately on the, on the practice field or in a walkthrough. So he's just a true pro through and through and, um, you know, really happy for the year he's had. Amari's uh, got a chance to set a career high. So what does that yards, say? 81 yards, 87, 81 yeah, yards? 80 yards? Yeah, I know. So what does that say given how good a career he's had and just do you think that means anything? Yeah, I, I think it does. It means something to me. You know, I, I want to see these guys hit their personal bests. You know, I, that, that, that's important to me. I think it's important to Kevin. These guys put all the work in. Why not have their best years when we have the ability to capture those? So aware of where he's at, aware of where Nick's at. And, uh, David needs some catches to be there as well. And that's in the forefront of my mind, at least. They deserve it. You know, the last couple of years, you guys have been a, a very run-centric type of offense to complement past game. Now that you have uh, Deshaun, do you envision a little bit of a transition? I'm not saying like major transition, but do you, when you look at the big picture <coughs> where you guys are headed, do you see maybe this offseason take some time to transition this offense to lean a little more on the pass game as opposed to the run game? Yeah, no, I think it's a fair question. I think a self scout will tell us those those answers a lot. I know it's something um, we've discussed openly. You know, where where are we now um, with Deshaun as our quarterback? So we'll uh, we'll finish this game out. We'll peel that onion back and, and make those decisions in the off season. But um, you know, when you have a a Pro Bowl running back, it's hard to say that you you don't want to start with that run game. So it, it's finding that happy medium somewhere in the middle, um, and we'll do that throughout the course of this off season. Have you gotten everything done you wanted to with Deshaun? You know, I understand you want to, we need to win games and all that, but there was an evaluation period getting ready for the offseason for next year. Do you think you got most everything done you wanted to? We're close. I think we're close. I think he'd be the first to tell you some of the footwork and the, and the rhythm and the timing. And um, we're not 100% there yet, but uh, we're, we've gotten a lot better since we started, for sure. Really impressed with his improvement each week. Um, kind of knew that going in. It was going to be a little rough early to start uh, until he got his football legs back. And now you're seeing what, what we're expecting from him moving forward. What a big turnaround defensively from early in the season to the last, whatever it is, six or seven game. Um, how much of that is TJ and what else are they doing at a high level where the numbers are that drastic? Yeah, I mean, that, 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 adding that player back into the mix is a big part of it for sure. Um, you know, they, they've gotten some different packages as of late versus some bigger groupings. But that's, uh, they're playing a lot of those snaps, which is making it tougher. Uh, to run the football on, um, uh, you know, they're, they're doing good things. They've always been sound in their scheme, you know, and they've always been disciplined. It's tough to run on them on the edges. It's tough up the middle. Um, you know, that's, that's a good, solid defense for sure. And then uh, you get Fitzpatrick in the back end, who's a high variance player. You're not sure exactly where he's going to be or how he's going to play from play to play. So uh, difficult defense to get ready for. You know, we, we've had success in, in certain areas. I think the biggest area for us is uh, staying in manageable down a distance throughout the course of the game. Um, and then converting on short third downs like we did last time. 
the bills are tweeting out uh, just over the last couple of minutes that um, that Demar Hamlin has shown remarkable improvement. He appears to be neurologically intact and his lungs continue to heal and he's making steady progress. So my question is, uh, you know, this was a very somber and quiet day here yesterday. I know guys were wondering how they were going to get up for practice and even this game. Uh, with news like this, which is kind of everybody's retweeting it, um, what impact do you think that might have, you know, on everybody here that's, you know, praying so hard and has been so yeah. Um It's great news. Great news. I'll leave it at that. 